But because we don't have any pesticides, I can literally take a leaf. Change my shoes. Just changing footwear. The footwear inside will be different from the footwear outside. Welcome back to our greenhouse. Hey guys, welcome back to King Tower Farm. I am inside the version 3 of the greenhouse and sorry about the noise. We have a fan so that in case any bugs are flying behind you, they're gonna be blown out. And that was the changing room. I'm supposed to be in a lab gown, but they are in the lab gown. I changed footwear, so we're trying to control the biological infestation also inside the greenhouse, trying to make it super sanitized and very disconnected to the outside world. I'm here to update you guys with what's happening to the towers. We only have two to three lines operating at the moment. The other lines are still not operating so we're doing a lot of testing we're doing a lot of trial and error to see what crops really grow super well and what crops don't grow well but we're eventually going to round things down and just do the crops that are more hardy in terms of uh, fruiting veg but for now again it's all about testing the crops and then just seeing what's going to be successful and what's not successful we are going to turn on the rest of the lines maybe by February this year and the beauty about the new greenhouse is we have no um, humidity issues we don't have any pest issues so all the leaves are beautiful it's not overly moist in the morning the cooling pads and the cooling fans are doing the job we have Donato who's sprouting some plants now I'll also update you guys with what's happening with the control systems and the basic overview of the greenhouse. So this is our nursery area where Donato is actually sprouting new plants. So this is how it looks before they go into the tower. So this little sprouts will take maybe another week or so and what happens is when the roots actually start sticking out the lower end of the sprout that's when we can move the rock wall which is this fuzzy thing here into the tower system so this whole nursery area is where we can wet the plants and then the water just goes back into the basin we have a little washing area over here so this is the i guess the highlight of the whole system this is where the nutrients are controlled and this is the system that controls the pumps the pumps sit on top of a cistern the cistern is where the nutrients are located the two water chillers here basically suck up the nutrients cool them down and put them back into the tank before they're pumped and plumped straight into the tower system what we've done differently from the previous towers is we've removed the pump from every single basin and what's happening now is we have five line pumps that basically run the whole system and as you can see on the lower part of the basin, there's a drain system that collects and ends up everything back here under my feet. So this is the cover. There you go. This is running full time, cooling down the nutrient solution. We're cooling it to... Underneath the water chiller is we have a UV control box. This is a UV filter. Basically, it has a UV lighting system. It removes all the pathogens and microbiology or at least sanitizes them before the water is plumbed into the tank system. So this is where we keep the nutrients. This is nutrient A and nutrient B. And the dositron basically feeds through the dositron and then that basically collates and mixes with the water that is UV filtered and dumps everything into the cistern. Although we don't have all the towers that are running yet, it's still nice to see a few lines already operational. It's taken over a year of renovation and trial and error to actually get this project off the ground. And I'm just happy that, you know, we are back to the experimenting phase and you can really feel the cold air draft through the cooling fins here on my right. And then we're gonna take some B-roll of the plants and show you guys how successful and how beautiful the growth is in the tower system.
gorgeous these plants are. This one looks, uh, I'd say, a little yellow, so maybe there's a lacking nutrient. I think this is like Swiss chard, some lettuce on top. This is eggplant. Beautiful, it's so beautiful. And look at this chili pepper. Look at that chili pepper. Look at this pretty plant. This is kohlrabi. It's not a very common vegetable here. This is celery. I thought it was parsley, but it's actually celery. <laughs> Fresh veggies! I came here to adjust the dostron to make the nutrients a little stronger. I think we can fix the yellowing by giving it more nutrients. This is spring onion. Being educated researching on the plants. This is sorrel. It's very similar to spinach. Because we don't have any pesticides, I can literally take a leaf and enjoy the rich flavors. Oh, so yummy. This is so cool. So during the day, our farmers basically clean the plants and we end up composting all of this so nothing is thrown here. Uh, we're basically removing any leaves that are that looks like this, like yellowing, so we can make sure that the plant is able to change the leaf into a fresh leaf. Especially like this, we have some burn marks. We are going to get some samples tonight so that we can try the lettuce. We are going to pull out one. We are going to have this for dinner. Let's get out of here. That's how the root system looks. Look how beautiful that is. I'm going to enjoy this for my dinner tonight. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the short tour for the King Tower Farm version 3. If you guys have any questions about the greenhouse or how the system works, just leave me a comment down below. If not, I will see you guys again in the next video. Peace!